Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I am here today with the brand new Stampin' Up! May 2023 through April 2024 annual catalog. This catalog goes live on May 2nd. Now, if you were a customer of mine in 2022, then you um, automatically get a catalog. It's shipped through the company. Um, sorry, my desk was dirty. Um, and you may already have your catalog. Um, I don't know why they sent it out so early <laughs> um, and, and teased you, but it does not go live until May the 2nd. So <clears throat> we're going to walk through the catalog this week. Um, I'm going to have some... Um, highlights in the catalog. So we're going to do some haul videos. We'll probably do some projects. Um, I'm not sure yet because I have not received everything that I ordered um, on the 4th. Now, let me tell you something with the catalog. They are about 10 days behind in shipping. Yes, I've been waiting since April 4th um, to get this in. And the time when I'm recording this video is actually April 21st and I don't have my order yet. Um, why? Because everyone went crazy for this new catalog, the new items in the catalog. Um, it was also the old catalog sale. So everyone was trying to get their hands on the 60% off, which is still going on until May 2nd. So, um, if there's anything that you want from the old catalog, you can get a good deal on it now. Um, also stock up on your card stock your, and stuff like that because all of that, the prices are increasing. I will point that out. Um, but Stampin' Up! received more sales on April 4th than they did the entire month of March. So that's why they're so far behind. Um, obviously your bigger named demonstrators are going to get their stuff first. So it is what it is. But I did get my catalog. Okay. So today's catalog mini walkthrough are going to be these highlighted pages. Um, we're not going to go over stamp sets or anything until tomorrow. But today are your everyday basics and things that I love. So whenever I get a new catalog, the first thing I like to memorize the page number is your color families, your color collections, right? Page 122, 123 of the new catalog. It was actually the same page numbers on the old catalog. So here's the old catalog. Um, these are the colors that are that are that are leaving. So if you need Mary Merlot, Soft Suede, Sahara Sand, Rich Razzleberry, um, Mint Macaroon, Pear Possess, So Saffron, Blushing Bride. This crushed my heart, but I got like six packets packages of it. Um, Pacific Point. Bermuda Bay was another one that made me super sad. I did not get any extra. That sold out immediately. And Mango Melanie, which, eh, not good. Um, I ordered at 2.02, which would have been midnight 02, mountain time. And I was in an hour-long queue just to place my order. Insane. So that means that... Within two minutes, all of the bandwidth was used up for the site. Now Stampin' Up! did something really great. They have an ordering queue. So once their internet website hits the number of people that can be on it, it'll put you in a waiting room instead of crashing the entire site. So that was pretty genius. But I had to wait an hour. So that's why I didn't get Bermuda Bay, but that's okay. All right. So <clears throat> new colors in colors old colors switch and swappy let's start with the new the new color um, suites the new color collections okay we'll skip the in colors for right now because I'm going to go into detail with them we're going to skip on down to the brights now with the bright section we gained lemon lime twist which is a returning old color um, we gained a az zero afternoon which is a brand new color um, and we have Berry Burst, which is a returning color. So in the brights section, we lost Mango, Melanie, Bermuda Bay, and Pacific Point, but we gained the Berry Burst, the Azure Afternoon, and the Lemon Lime Twist. OK, 
Okay. Also, the difference here, they swapped pumpkin pie and gorgeous grape. So now pumpkin pie is part of the brights and gorgeous grape was swapped to the regals. And I'll show you that in just a second. All right, so the neutrals, we gained returning color, Misty Moonlight, and we gained this beautiful pecan pie. This is a gorgeous brown. You guys know I love me some browns and some tans. This is absolutely gorgeous. Um, so we lost uh, Sahara Sand, which I wasn't a huge fan of that one, but I'm, I'm so happy for the pecan pie. And we lost the Mary Merlot, which I didn't really use that one either, so I was fine. Now, my gorgeous Regals, thankfully they did not mess with my Regals. The only one that we actually got rid of was the Rich Razzleberry, and I didn't really use that color. Actually, I have like a whole pack of it here that I've never even opened. Um, it wasn't my jam, so they left my Regals alone. Everything else is there. Like I said, the pumpkin pie from the old catalog was switched to the bright, so it's still there. Um, and then the Settles collection, um, I was very sad to lose Brushing Bride, Blushing Bride, but they tried to, they tried to retire that color a long time ago and it was like an uproar. So we did lose that and we lost So Saffron, um, but we got Lemon Lolly, which is a brand new color, and then returning Lost Lagoon. So here's what they look like. Petal pink is more of a coral pink than it is um, a pink, I think. So I'm kind of sad that we lost the only true soft pink. So here's petal pink. It's To me, it's more peach than pink. I don't find it pink at all. Um, let me move this book out of the way. We did gain bubble bath, which is a light purple and Fresh Frasia is staying. I'm super excited. I did buy a couple packs of Fresh Frasia because that was an in color um, that retired this year. But I guess everyone loved it as much as I did and brought it back. So I'm super excited for that. Here is the Fresh Frasia. Get a little piece out here. And then the bubble bath is slightly lighter than this. So it's more of a purple than it is a pink. So I don't know. I'll have to wait and see how I feel about it. Um, we did keep Flirty Flamingo, which it is a pink color. To me, it's more orangey pink. Still gorgeous. I love working with this. Matter of fact, I have a project right here I was using with it. Um, I do love this, this pinkish color, but I like soft pinks in that one away. The other pink that is staying is right here, the Melon Mambo. I don't know if I have have. I do. It is a bright pink. I, I think I only use it for one specific project and I haven't reordered it. It's not my favorite pink because it is, it's a primary bright pink. Um, it is a pretty pink. It's just I like to work with the softer pinks. So I did, like I said, I bought I think like six packs of Blushing Bride. So hopefully that will last me. I don't know. Right, in colors. I am super excited for these in colors. Look at these colors right here. We have Copper Clay, Wild Wheat, Boho Blue, Moody Moth, and Pebbled Path. Now, I'm super excited because the Copper Clay and Pebbled Path are beautiful shades of brown. They are gorgeous. Um, Wild Wheat, I'm going to have to see that in person when I get my, my stuff because it kind of looks earwaxy to me <laughs> so I'm not sure um, boho blue is really pretty it's like the balmy blue kind of and moody mauve I'm not a mauve person so I, I don't have an opinion on this color like I don't like it and I don't dislike it so there you go all right new you can get the stamp and write marker in black so there's that okay so that's page 122 123 Next page, this is going to be your tool setup, your uh, marker holders and stuff like that, your watercolor pencils. I did buy these to just see how they work out. Your pastels and your new family color, collection color markers. Okay, so 
On page 126, what I'm excited for, these new tree bags and these gift card boxes. So as you can see, it has the little slits there for the gift card. It has a little scalloped edge. Super excited. Those were not part of the pre-order, um, so I didn't get those yet, but there should be. I'll be able to order them May 2nd with you guys. Um, we had a very small list of stuff that we could pre-order to share with you, so not everything was available. On page 127, this is going to be your specialty paper. They have 12 by 12 papers in the in colors. This, um, I call it disco ball paper, but it's like chunky glitter paper that doesn't rub off. Holographic paper, metallic paper, or stuff like that. These are your paper collections that we can look over another time. I did order the in color paper collection. And I ordered the gold specialty paper. Okay. The next page I like to keep memorized um, for the envelopes. And it's page 135 in the new catalog. Um, I do use the regular size and the 3x3. Three three. This is the notebooks, the, the little album you can get the little cards for, the Project Life cards, and they have new Project Life cards here that you can kind of see on this page. I don't do Project Life, but um, I've seen some gorgeous Project Life layouts. But if you need envelopes, go ahead and order them now before May 2nd because the price increases by a dollar. Okay, so stock up on your everyday stuff now. That's why I'm showing you the stuff now. Any of the old colors, um, any of the retiring colors, if they're still in stock, you can get them now until May 2nd or until they sell out one or the other. Um, the next page, 136, 137. These are going to be your natural skin tones blends, which I love them. I have all of them already. Um, so those are going to be your blends, your heat emboss tool, your embossing powder, stuff like that. Page 137 are going to be your ink pads, your blender brushes, your water tools, all of that stuff. Um, your glitter gels, all of that fun stuff on 137. And 138 are your adhesives. Now, I love this page because I am obsessed with dimensionals. I have a little tray from Dollar Tree. Look at all these dimensionals I have in here. These are just the ones for this week. <laughs> I have the minis. I have the black. I have the regular ones. Um, just a bunch of them. I haven't actually used the black ones yet because I don't care if people can see my foam dots. But for some people, it's very important to hide them, so they do. Um, I did buy a refill for my um, this my tape runner, uh, my stamp and steel. I'm trying to love it. I don't hate it anymore, but I'm 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 not in love with it yet. But I did get some great tips from people who are using it. It takes a little while to get used to. The, um, the handle and the design, you have to pull and stop. Um, so there's that. So hopefully when I get the refill, I'll have a better grasp of it and maybe I'll, I'll fall in love with it. Um, same thing with the ATG. I did not like the ATG um, thing, but then I started loving it. So once you learn how to use something properly, you know, you're going to fall in love. This also has your silicone mat, your liquid glue. Tombow glue is amazing. I just can't use it because it's 100% latex and I'm allergic, so we ain't doing that. Glue dots, your um, shaker, um, foam, like the foam strips, so you can make like shakers and stuff like that. All right, page 139 through 141. That Those are your gems, okay? These are going to be your gems. This is new here. This is not new. It says it's new, but it is not new because guess what? I have it right here. This is the loose silver sequins in my little jar or basket of Stampin' Up! stuff. Look at this. They changed the name from subtle shimmer sequins to loose silver sequins, but it's the same. So if you got this out of the mini catalog, like the Christmas time catalog, you're going to be so happy that it's in the annual catalog so you can get it again. I use this a lot. I love it. 
Okay, and the little daisies are back from um, like the gnomes. Okay. See, I, ha I have they, where are these old ones. These are so old. They're little paper clips with ribbon on it from Stampin' Up. I'm saving them for a specific project. I don't know what. Um, and then you have your little brads on there. All right. Then the next page are your basic gems. Lots and lots of new gems. I'm super excited for these. All of the, uh, these are the pastels. These are uh, sparkle gems, tinsel gems. They got little pieces of tinsel in them. Those are new. Um, just all kind of new stuff and some of the old stuff that we love. Um, I love all of the gems. Look at this. Look at this madness. These are all of my gems. Madness. I just I have everything like I, I I like the gems clearly I don't like to use them I just like to look at them but <laughs> I love them I have a bunch of gems uh, whenever they go on the clearance rack I buy a ton of them so I can give them out as prizes and stuff because I love the gems these are the ones you saw you saw these you saw these you saw these that I just was flipping through quickly I have those you know, so um, I'm going to buy these. I'm super excited for this. These are the adhesive back sequins, but in the neutral colors. So I can't wait for that. And the back sequins, let me show you those. I just have everything here in my little side drawer. It's a small little drawer. It's my Stampin' Up! drawer. So the, the adhesive back sequins come like this. And there's a glue dot on the back, so you can just pop it off quickly. So I'm super excited for these colors here. Um, for the okay. Then your ribbons. I'm not really a ribbon girl, but there's a ton of ribbons. There's new ribbons with braids down the middle, all kind of fun stuff. Um, you can get all these texture ribbons and all the new colors. There's new um, wavy trim that has like loops and stuff on there. All this cool stuff. Duo combo duo pack. So you have fun with that. The other page I like to mark is page 145. This is your terrific tools page. This is going to be your paper trimmer, your scoreboard. And here's my paper trimmer right next to me. The scoreboard is um, on the, under my desk. And your bone folders, your snips. I love my snips. These particular pair I have had since 2008. Um, they are very well loved. They have glue all over them. They still work perfectly. I was still able to cut my finger the other day <laughs> um, on accident because I was watching TV and wasn't paying attention and I cut through my skin. So they're still sharp all these years later. I do have a whole brand new pair. This is how they come minus this keychain. Um, they have the little protector because they are super sharp. These are great fussy cut scissors. Um, I got this little keychain from um, Janie Backer who is Inspired Stamping. She's also a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Um, when we went to her retreat, we all got a personalized keychain as one of our gifts. And so it hangs out on my scissors. It's a scissor thing to kind of remind you like which one you're going to use specifically for scissors or specifically for, you know, paper or whatever. I kind of just use all my scissors for everything. Um, the other thing that I love on this page is the Take Your Pick tool. Um, it has the pokey thing. You untwist it. It has a like a little putty knife type thing. It has other accessories that are somewhere in this drawer. I don't know where. I'm not going to try to find it. But you get an extra putty tool. Um, and then you have your, your dual to... Oh, it's a, um, a stylus. Is the other tool that you get with it so you get the pokey tool you get the putty tool you get um, the stylus in two different sizes which is like for your um, scoreboard so you get like this size ball probably like that size um, but what I'm excited for is the new accessories these right here so this one is like a, a blade so it's like a exacto knife and then you have your perforated line maker 
and then this is a pickup tool so like a little hook you can't see I know you can't see it but it has a little hook right there so I'm super excited for that I can't wait to order that um, what's great about the paper trimmer this is a I think it's a love or hate feature um, it has inches and centimeters so you have your metric and your imperial I love that about this some people don't they put washi tape on one or the other I mean but the arm comes in inches but you can get the little centimeter arm if that makes sense so it's the metric the metric one so there you go great worldwide so that's another page that I like to memorize um, and then we come into our punches okay this right here is showing the bundles but these are punches you'll get a sneak peek of some of the new bundles um, these are the punches that they're they're carrying over so your banner I have the banner one your stamp like a postage stamp the Easter Bunny um, punch is back so you can get that now um, this one here is going to be new the elegant edge I know what some of y'all are thinking and I'm about to throw a little shade but yes that looks like the Martha Stewart punch that's been out um, but who am I um, we have our very best trio I've used that a couple times you guys seen that in videos our hedgehog our little bird the uh, ladybug so any of these punches that are in the previous catalog up until May 2nd you can get the previous catalog prices because inflation everything is going up some stuff is going up as much as a dollar so for instance the hedgehog is $22 in the new catalog but right now he's only 19 I know that's like three bucks but hey that, that's a coffee right same thing with the ladybug she's 19 in the old catalog and she's 22 in the new so if you want anything um, you know anything from the old catalog you need to go on and get it now because the prices are increasing May 2nd so you have um, some time let me look at the paper trimmer paper trimmer is $26 in the new catalog and it's 25 in the old catalog so you can save a dollar get the paper trimmer you'll love it I promise I back it All right. the next page I like to keep um, marked which I don't know where my little sticky went is page 151 of the new catalog and this is my clear blocks um, the clear block caddy your chamois which I have my chamois here simply chamois mine is very well loved I cut it in half just with regular scissors and it is very well loved so I have the other half um, just whenever I get tired of looking at this just throw it away use the other half and I also have a piece of the stamp and scrub um, though this may not be stamping up current this was an old from 2008 where you could actually cut through the foam mat so I like to keep it in this little container keeps it moist whatever um, again the bundle for the clear blocks which you get all of the clear block blocks and the nifty case it is $76 in the old catalog and it's going to be $80.75 on May 2nd so if you want that you know save yourself some money see right now it's 76 so save yourself what 325 something like that but still you know uh, 420 whatever save yourself some money your uh, masking papers on here too again any of this stuff that doesn't have a pink N next to it, that's returning from the previous catalog. Um, so those of you who have the new catalog, go ahead and you know save yourself some money and buy the stuff before May 2nd. Um, speaking of catalogs, I will not have any extra catalogs on hand because I am actually going to move um, in June allegedly <laughs> I know I've been saying I'm gonna move for like the last year but you know 
the universe does not want me to leave my parents' house and, you know, the universe, I tell you. But um, anyway, um, so I will not be ordering any catalogs. If you want a paper catalog, you're going to have to purchase one from my website. It's only $5. That includes shipping. Um, I'm pretty sure it includes shipping. Don't quote me on that. Um, but it is $5. Or you can look at the virtual catalog on May 2nd. Um, all you have to do is scroll down on the left-hand side. You click on catalog. And you can look at the catalog as if you have a paper catalog in front of you. If you click on shop now, it's going to give you the virtual catalog and it's going to show you everything in English, French, and Dutch or German or something um, and just whatever order it wants to show you. So if you want to go page by page, do the virtual cat actual catalog or just order one for yourself. Anyone who is a customer in 2022 of mine, um, you either already have your paper catalog or it's on its way. I know a lot of you got these on the 19th, which <laughs> was very unfortunate because the 19th was free shipping day and you weren't allowed to access any of the new stuff because the new stuff doesn't come out until May 2nd. But hopefully you guys got some pretty good stuff. Um, anything that does not have a pink N next to it, you have access to before May 2nd. Only the pink ends, you don't. And I'll show you what that is on the next page. Um, page 153 of the new catalog are your embossing uh, cutting machines. I am not in love with the cutting machines. I don't dislike them, but I'm not in love with it. I'm not even a strong like. I just like it. I'm not going to lie. Why? Um, well, my honest opinion, I only have the mini. I don't have the big one, but I have played with the big one at other people's houses. But I have the mini. It annoys me because it does not have a way for the footing to stay still. I have a very smooth IKEA desk and that thing just be all over the place. I have ADD and I can't just focus on one thing. So when I'm trying to crank the thing through, my other hand is getting something, you know, I don't know. I may be trying to crank it through and pick up the envelopes at the same time. So I'm doing two things at once. You can't do that with this machine. So this is a me problem. Um, you have to hold it and you have to um, wind it that way. So most people don't mind that, but I do. The other thing that I mind is that you have to stack the plates a specific way. Most people, it's not a problem. It takes you an extra 5, 10 seconds. But for me, with my attention span, that is very frustrating. Okay. Um, I'll show you what I mean on these other plates. I already packed my mini away. So I'm just going to show you on this other machine plates. Um, so pretend this is your platform, right? Then you have your, you know, your plate. You're going to put your paper... I don't even have a piece of paper. Here. Mm. Here we go. Place your piece of paper there. You put your, your die or whatever on top, and then you have to put your top plate, and then you run it through, right? Well, this one, you have to sandwich it kind of off. So you have to go there, lay your paper down. Remember, you need to put it off, and then you have to stack it like this, and then run it through. <laughs> It's not a huge deal. It's an extra five, 10 seconds. But if you forget, you're trying to crank it, you can't crank it. And for someone like me, that is very frustrating. I can't, I, I can't. Most of the other machines, you put it on there, you put it in, boom, you're good to go. This one, you gotta, you know, you know. So that's my honest opinion. Like I said, I don't hate it. I don't love it. I just like it. A little bit like it. It is very convenient because it does have the three and a half inch platform, which is bigger than your other machines. Like your your Sidekick only has the two and a half. So I do like that about it. Um, and I love that the catalog will tell you what will fit in here. So anytime you see this icon, that means it will fit in the mini. And this mini is not that heavy. You can bring it to crops and whatnot. So I love those features about it. I just don't love the fact that it doesn't have a suction cup or something that can stay on my desk. Now, a lot of people um, 
keep it on their mat. I do have a mat, but when I craft, my mat is full of my project and I put my cutting machine to the right, like over here on my smooth desk. And so that's why it's annoying to me. Weirdo. I know. Welcome to the weird club. Anyway, so that's on page 153. After that, we just have our die cuts um, and whatnot. You will see a lot of these tomorrow. I will show you. But here we go. Here are your dies again. Um, new dies. You have the brilliant backgrounds, which is just that. They give you these cool backgrounds. Um, you definitely want your take your pick tool brush. Um, add-on. Let me show you that. Let's cover it up. Here's your brush add-on. So you just pop your pop this out, put your brush in there, and you're just going to brush over that intricate die to get all those little pieces out. Oops. Okay. Um, then we have this delightful doily hybrid. Hybrid folders are super cool. They're very scary to use the very first time because you feel like you're going to break your embossing folder, but I promise you, you will not break your embossing folder. You take your embossing folder, you put the die in, and so you're embossing and cutting at the same exact time. So super cool. Or you can use them separate. Um, you have the full embossing folder, and then you have the full die. So you can cut out the pieces individually, emboss a background, or you can do it all at the same time. Super fun process. I'm loving the hybrid ones. Um, the other new um, dies is Paper Florist. You'll see that tomorrow I think I'm going to do um, the video on that. There's a couple new backgrounds. So this is Petal Patterns. It's a new background dies and then this one is gorgeous garden i'll show you that's on page 18. it does tell you here what page you can see a sample of this is um here are your little pink ends that i was talking about a pink end means it is a new item not transferred over so on page 18 here are those gorgeous gorgeous backgrounds look at that right um also this one down here was page 99. Let's take a look at what that is going to be. Look at that. So you have the two, you have a solid, and then you have the outlines. Isn't that just gorgeous? Um, this one has some on the circles, but you can't really see it. I turned my autofocus off, and so now my camera doesn't focus at all, even though I turned it back on, but whatever. Um, these other ones, patchwork pieces on page 55 kind of a starburst and then little waves let's take a look at that in action so here you can use your um, other embossing folders on top of it make a wave or you can just add different pieces of paper same color monochromatic background and make the little sunburst if you want to all right Um, you'll see these just wanted to say tomorrow words with the background, the offset background. New embossing folders. Okay, I am not going to lie. I am so sad to see the brick and mortar retire. I love that embossing folder. I'm still going to use it. Hopefully you guys can still get it before, um, before it goes away. On May 2nd. I don't know if they're going to bring it back, but I absolutely love it. Here it is in the old catalog. Look at that brick and mortar, right? I love it. It's gone. It's retired. Well, on May 2nd, it'll be retired. So if you want it, you better get it before May 2nd. They're replacing it with another brick embossing folder. So you can see it's called exposed brick. You can see exposed brick on either side, but then it has like the cementy, um, I don't even know how to call this, like damaged brick type in the middle. 
Now for those of you who love vintage or grunge or that kind of stuff, you're going to absolutely love this embossing folder. I don't like vintage. I don't like grunge. Um, so I don't like the embossing folder. I don't. I'm very sad. My brick and mortar. But that's okay because I have the brick and mortar and I can use what I want. Um, this is the Countryside Blossoms. I got that in the set. So we'll see that when I get my stuff. Um, geometric patterns. So little triangles and like waves and stuff. That's super cool. And the other new one, Twisted Rope, which looks like rope. So, you know, we'll see. Um, here's another one of those hybrid embossing folders. This is a Sweet Switch Citrus. And also the three rings. So you have like, you can make your... Um, wood slices and emboss and cut at the same time all right so that is everything on my favorites and the pages that I memorized thankfully they're pretty close to the pages that we already have um, but like I said the main page that I use is page 122 and 123 all right thanks for watching guys bye